Hi guys, welcome! In this video, I'll show you the strategy we use to slay the Maya and the Griffin at the level 60 Valhalla Ruins. The Valhalla Ruins is a guild dungeon wherein the members can kill mini bosses and MVPs for various loots and rewards. In addition, they can also get the Nibelungen Fragment which can be used to purchase various fashion recipes. The Valhalla Ruins has 4 stages, the level 40, 60, 80, and 100, wherein we have to kill 5 mini bosses or MVPs for each stage. In this video, we're going to highlight 2 bosses from the level 60 stage which were more challenging than the others. Without further ado, let's begin with the Maya. The Maya will be the first boss you'd have to slay in order to unlock the other portals. This is an Earth Element MVP boss which spawns Vitatas when challenged. What's interesting about this boss is that receiving physical damage will trigger a regen effect. Thus, we'd need magic damage in order to kill the Maya. For our lineup, we have two High Wizards, a Paladin, a High Priest, and a Champion. The High Wizards are the main damage dealers against Maya. In this video, we are casting Lord of Vermilion because it's an area of effect skill which can damage multiple units. Ideally, since Maya is Earth Element, Fire would be the strongest. However, the Lord of Vermilion proves to be extremely useful because it can also target and eliminate Maya's Vitata spawns. Since the Vitata spawns are triggered more often as her health gets lower and lower, it was our priority to eliminate those as fast as we could since her cumulative damage puts a toll on her tank's health. In addition, one of our wizards was also casting Marsh Pond to decrease movement speed, agility, and dexterity for enemies within the target area. Again, since the Maya should not receive physical damage because of her health region effect, our champion was also functioning as a support. Together with our high priest, they were spam casting Kyrie Alason on our tank for the shield effect. Of course, other buffs and heals were also provided by our high priestess. Our champion was also targeting the Pitatas as they spawn. The Paladin's job is to hold and receive Maya's damage. In the event that he couldn't hold the damage and dies, the Maya will then target the next damage dealer. In this case, once the Maya was chasing the wizards, it's an option to use Flywing to avoid her attacks. Wait until the tank is resurrected, then resume the Lord of Vermilion and Kyrie spam. The continuous magic damage will eventually eat up Maya's HP. It took us a total of 8 minutes to slay this MVP. Also, as a side note, make sure your pets are in battle off to avoid any additional physical attacks on Maya. Next, we have the Griffin. The Griffin is a wind element mini boss. It does not have spawns, but what's unique about it is that it regens HP when it's not slayed within about 90 seconds. Thus, before you attack, make sure all the buffs are set up. Notably, make sure the wizards have Blessing to increase intelligence and Suffragium to decrease casting time. For physical damage dealers, Blessing would also increase strength and dexterity while Imposition Manus would increase attack. As a tip, don't use normal attacks and spam skills instead. Since the Griffin is of Wind Element, the High Wizards were casting Heaven's Strive to counter. Also, Magic Power would be a useful buff to increase the magic damage dealt. In this case, also our champion and tank were dealing damage in order to give the highest damage per second for the whole team. For our successful run, we were able to slay the Griffin in 1 minute and 25 seconds, which is just 5 seconds shy of the Griffin's health region. Before I go, I'd like to point out that there are other various tactics and lineups you can do in order to kill these boss monsters. You should not be limited by our lineup in this video, however, I would recommend to have at least a tank, a support, and of course, it's utterly fundamental to have the magic damage from the High Wizards in order to kill the Maya. This is a suggestion of what worked for our team and hopefully would give you an idea on how to slay these boss monsters as well. If you have other tips and strategies, please comment them down below. Lastly, the graphic settings on my game were not on high mode, thus you could only see the video from my perspective. I'll make sure to fix this in future videos. Nonetheless, I would like to thank my guildmates Raymond, Sam, Q, and Zira for their awesome teamwork. Alright, that's it for this video guys. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed watching this guide. If you're new here, I would love for you to consider subscribing by hitting the red subscribe button down below. I would love to have you back. Thank you for watching and see you in our next episode.